Good boy. Good boy. The FDR presidents have a tough road ahead of them. After graduating 12 starters from last year's team that won the first playoff game in school history, the presidents will rely on a much younger group. Yeah, our numbers are down. We're down about 10 kids a year for the last three years, so we only have, I believe, 48 or 49 kids out for varsity and JV this year. We've graduated 12, 12 guys that really were a core of our team from last year. Tomorrow when we scrimmage, we're going to find out hopefully what, what our strengths are. Ryan Taylor is back running the offense. He started as a sophomore last year, so we got two more years with him, which we're happy about. So uh, we're expecting growth from him this year and big things, yeah. And while FDR has youth, the team does have a few young, experienced players who have been on varsity their entire high school career. Well, we talked a little bit about uh, that year where you were, had so many injuries about three years ago. You brought up some freshmen who are now in what are they, their third, fourth year on fourth varsity? Fourth year starting, yeah, fourth yeah. year starting. Uh, that's got to be an advantage. It's uh, certainly. All three started on defense from their freshman year on, so we're hoping that defensively it certainly could be a strength of our team. Our know, youth, our youth coming up. It's definitely one of our strengths. We have a young team that's getting together and all playing together, so definitely the, um, they know what they're doing. They've been playing each other. They're playing with each other for a long time, so getting them to work together and work as a team is very easy. And some of the seniors coming back, they know what they're doing. They're training their younger kids to do what they do. Tyler Norman is one of our linebackers who I work with personally. Um, shoot, he runs half our drills. I don't even have to do it. So uh, he, he knows what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it. So uh, it's great to have those kids around helping out too, especially with younger kids and, and stuff like that. They're almost like, you know, our seventh, eighth, and ninth coach out there. The one constant has been the FDR coaching staff. Ninth year in a row, I, I have my, my two varsity assistants are with me, uh, and, and Mike DiFilippo, who's an old-timer, and, and James Morocco. Um, you know, two, two of my great friends and two guys that have been grinding it out with me since we started up here. Um, we have two JV coaches. One of them played for us a couple years ago, Chris Osterman, who's an outstanding wide receiver. He's coming in for his first year. Um, played up at Cortland and just graduated in, in January. So he's joining the staff this year. So well, I really like our coaching staff, yeah. The goal is to get back to the playoffs, but this year's squad is focusing on putting up points with more available options. You know, last year we struggled. We were in more of a run-oriented offense, downhill, uh, trying to grind the ball out, you know, snap the ball with two seconds left on the clock. and. Uh, you know, when we got into the playoffs, uh, it worked one game and we won it. Next game, not so much. We ended up losing in the semifinal. So we're trying to open things up a little more this year. I think we've got to put up more points than we have in the past. Roosevelt opens the 2018 season with a non-league game against Burke Catholic on Friday at home.